everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the base of Lake Berryessa and welcome back to the 2022 BMW S1000 Single R. We're out here on the streets because, well, I got some news for you, unfortunately, about my M1000R. So let's get on the road and let's talk a little bit about it. But then we're going to talk a little bit about this bike. We're just coming back from Button Willow on Monday. And uh, there's a reason why you guys um, haven't or aren't going to see any track content. Uh, I may, I've got one kind of ride on this that I may release. Um, so. You guys know I'm transparent with you guys and that I try to be as uh, open and honest as I can. There are some times that um, I will hold my tongue until we figure things out. But at those times, sometimes you might think, well, why are you doing a video? Why not just wait until that time? Well, the fact is, is because it has to do with the brand new 23M1000R. And if you guys are familiar with the channel and you guys have seen all this content go up, and then all of a sudden now some of the content is not there. And also, um, you won't be seeing any more content on the M1000R hopefully for now. I will only say this, it's an unfortunate thing that happened. There isn't at this point anybody to blame, not me, not BMW, not the track day organization or Button Willow or anything, any of my park sponsors, it's nobody's fault. I think that what happened just simply happened. And I don't want to get into what happened until a later date when we can determine exactly what happened. But I did not crash it, so don't worry, I didn't wreck the M1000R, but it is at the dealer and it is not functioning. So. With that said, we have and will be halting, thank you, sir, content on the M1000R, but I want to keep you guys rolling with this R platform because I think it's the best naked bike platform you can buy. No questions, hands down. This is the best naked bike you can buy. And if you guys are looking at the Hyper Naked and the M1000R and you want to compare it to a Tawano or a Street Fighter or any of that, I've owned them all. And I will tell you, the M1000R is king of Hyper Nakeds. It will come out, you guys will realize it. And uh, thank you BMW for the platform that you've given us. I think that this bike still hasn't gained the traction that it's supposed to because um, the early version, Gen 1 and 2 of the BMW S1000R platform really wasn't that great of a bike. I mean, it was all right, but it was real tame. It was real, it, you couldn't get that thing rowdy like you can get this thing rowdy. You couldn't make a Gen 1, a Gen 2, S1000R perform like this bike. So, thank you BMW for this platform because uh, like I said, you know, when I bought this bike, I fell immediately in love with this and I fell in love knowing that this bike would be this bike. And there's more to this bike. Stay tuned because this week, we are gonna be retuning this bike by Brent Tune. And stay tuned because if you don't have the money for an M1000R, I might have an answer for you. Or if you have an S1000R, again, I might have that answer. And then uh, when we get the M1000R back, 
we'll be able to run the platforms together side by side. And uh, thank you, sir. See what we can't do against each other. But you guys know I love this bike more than any bike. I'm selling almost the whole collection. And as many people have hit me up asking if I'm going to or what I'm doing with this, am I gonna be selling this bike? Uh, I'm not right now. Uh, I don't know that I will. Honestly, um, I was able to ride the M1000R on track and uh, it performed great. I was uh, in the middle of working on the suspension and getting the suspension dialed in with Alex from Fastline. Uh, Alex is the guy that built all of the motors for Moto America. Uh, so huge thank you to Alex for the, the work you were helping me with on the, uh, on the M1000R. But uh, this bike, you know, straight out of the box, you know, uh, suspension modifications. There's not much that can be done to this bike. We can't go in and really adjust compression rebound and everything on the fly or whatnot. It's basically, you know, suspension button, dynamic, one up, two up, and that's it. Thank you, sir. Thought that was a cop for a minute. I was like, oh, snap. So, if you guys are here interested in an S1000R or an M1000R, I always encourage everyone to hit me up in the comment section down below. Or um, recently, I've been just getting a huge amount of DMs through Instagram. So feel free to head over to our Instagram, shoot us a follow over there, and uh, feel free to DM me over at Instagram. It's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. And uh, if you do DM me over at Instagram, I will reply back to you. So uh, be patient with time, but outside that, whoop, this thing is just, I love this thing. Uh, stay tuned. Next video, we're heading out to Lake Hennessy. So I think we're gonna head up just to the, uh, to the old restaurant and then we'll start another video from uh, Total Rock up to Lake Hennessy with another POV selfie ride. That was looked like a big old rock. Um, and uh, answering a question that I get asked time and time again, and I couldn't answer this question because I didn't know how, but that is, what the hell selfie stick holder do you have for your S1000R and M1000R? <laughs> And so I am going to be doing a video on the selfie stick with the POV view of a quick little ride out to Lake Hennessy. I, uh, again, I was back at Button Willow on Monday. I'll be there. I'm hoping to be able to hit the two day Memorial Day, but if not, then, uh, we may not hit the June weekend because the weekend in June, I'm actually going to be heading to the Ridge for Moto America, and we'll be uh, we'll be doing the oh, I was in fourth, not third. Um, we'll be doing the Aprilia Day, the day after Moto America at the Ridge. So stay tuned. Uh, I love the Ridge. I haven't been there in two, three years. And when I was there, uh, I was there on the Street Fighter. I didn't have the S1000R yet. So, so hopefully Memorial Day, we'll be able to get in. Uh, they're sold out on Sunday, so. So the steering 
steering damper. Uh, I put the Olean steering damper on. You guys know I've talked about that. Um, the stroke is a little bit short, so the rod is a little bit short. I can't go lock to lock, but I refigured out the mounting. It was actually really tight. It was actually kind of hitting the front of the headlight because of the mount. So I was able to shove that, shave that back, put uh, an actually uh, an additional spacer in there to get that thing to uh, be able to move a little bit freer. And now I'm really happy with the Olean steering damper. Uh, I didn't do a video on it. I don't want to do a video on it because it's really not designed for this bike. So hopefully someone will come out or Olean's will come out with a specific mount for this thing. And, um, and if and when that happens, uh, we'll be able to get you guys a video. So um, right now, I, I don't know anybody's got a specific steering damper for the S1000R and M1000R platform. The M1000R steering damper is good. It's adjustable. It's, it's good for 90% of y'all. But for some of us that really are doing track days or like me where, you know, I'm gonna drive out of this corner and the front end's really loose and you get that little bit of wobble. The M1000R dampener just doesn't get tight enough. Now, speaking with Alex at Fastline, uh, he told me that we should be dropping these forks, uh, excuse me, raising the forks up. So I'll probably be doing it on this bike and that bike. You'll see that there's about, um, I don't know, 10, 15 millimeters we can get to the top of these forks. So instead of dropping the front end down, Alex says I should be raising the front end up a little bit, which gets a little bit more weight on the rear, which should keep the stability of the front end better. I know it doesn't make sense because you would think that the front end dropping it would drop more to the front end, but you know, the, the bike is trying to stay too dipped right now. And so the acceleration out, the forks don't have enough room to come up, I guess. So um, stay tuned for that because we're gonna be uh, um, hopefully uh, uh, getting you guys a video of uh, th this for you track riders, uh, it's going to be especially important. So, uh, love that sound. So, we're going to stop here and then head out to Turtle Rock. So, stay tuned because, like I said, we've got a uh, selfie stick um, <laughs> video coming. If you guys like those POV videos, uh, it'll, be, it'll be that. So, let's go ahead and get off this thing. But man, I just, I just love this thing. I just, I'm really, I'm, I don't even know what to do about the M. Like, I'm like, kind of like, man, should I just have bought another one of these? Or should I just, I don't, I don't know. So, um, hopefully we get the M1000R back soon. Hopefully it's not going to be an issue. And hopefully, um, it, it sounds like we've got some people, some real good people and support on our side, uh, including people from BMW and Randy over at ANS and Nate Kern. And I have to thank everybody that's helping me out with this. So thank you guys. But, uh, uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy some content on the BMW S1000R. Um, I've got a carbon fiber black plastic piece that I'm going to be installing onto this bike. I originally bought it for the M1000R, but I think it's going to be more fitting on this. I've got uh, carbon fiber bottom plates coming, and then hopefully I can get a redesign of the graphics for this thing. There's a gentleman that does graphics, and I've been trying to get uh, work with him to get some uh, better graphics on this. But um, the S1000R is just an amazing platform. Oh, and stay tuned because we've got that new Bren tune going in. So uh, hopefully we will make the S1000R uh, M1000R killer. Uh, but we'll see. Let's not hold ourselves to too much. But thank you guys for sticking around. Do the normal. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button. And then ring the bell notification. Bell notification is going to give you future notification. Like when we got the selfie stick. 
info. If you guys have questions on that, watch the next video. Uh, the M1000R will be back out of the shop. We'll have that and we'll be uh, continuing um, on modifying that. So stay tuned. But uh, thank you guys again. And we will see you next video. Bye, guys.